So the UK government relocated 38 people from on board the coronavirus infested Diamond Princess cruise ship that's docked in Japan to Britain who despite being in quarantine for two weeks and supposedly not infected however when landing in Britain many tested positive and so instead of treating the infected at a remote facility so as to limit the risk of exposure to the general population the government dispersed them to the very heart of Britain's largest cities such as Sheffield where the Royal Hallamshire Hospital situated at the very heart of Sheffield is now host to two infected patients it's mindless actions such as this which ensures that Britain is going to have a coronavirus epidemic because it's clear two weeks quarantine is not enough that and our government is bloody incompetent so as things stand Britain continues to trend towards multiple outbreaks of the coronavirus that unfortunately likely to total 5,000 infected by the end of March with worse to come for April and May for which the NHS is not prepared. The NHS is barely able to cope with regular flu, let alone something that's 15 times as deadly at least. So do not rely on the authorities and the NHS to protect you from the coronavirus. Instead it's up to you to first take preventative actions to avoid becoming infected and secondly if infected to have an immune system that is able to fight off the infection with as mild an illness as possible for imbecile actions of our government ensures outbreaks are highly probable in Sheffield and across Britain's largest cities. So how to protect ourselves from the coronavirus storm? Firstly, wash your hands. Wash frequently because there's a good chance we are going to come into contact with the virus at some point. So the frequency at which one washes one's hands could be critical to whether we get the virus or not, i.e. buys us time for the next year when the vaccine will be placed on doors, handles, chairs, tables and various other objects. Buttons such as lift buttons, cash machines, chip and pins and currency. So the number one thing to do is to get used to washing your hands more frequently and avoid touching your face and mouth. What about gloves? Well, they're pretty much useless. Since you've got to take the gloves off and wash your hands anyway, that and everything you touch will be contaminated. So offers a false sense of security. The main thing is to wash your hands frequently and properly. Secondly, wear a mask when going out, both to protect oneself and others if you're already infected. Some masks offer more protection than others, as most of the surgical masks that you see people wearing in Asian countries have gaps at the sides and easily become moist and thus will attract viral particles rather than offer protection. And then you have to dispose of the masks used and to wash your hands after disposing of the masks. Thirdly, avoid large crowds. Avoid queues, public events, shopping centres, in close spaces with large gatherings i.e. cinemas. Avoid places where people have been in contact with travellers from China, which is the primary conduit for the spread of this virus. So don't take any chances avoid Chinese people for a few weeks at least as they are most likely to have been in contact with infected people from China and thus are at a higher risk of being infected than the general population and avoid places that could have transmissible viral particles such as universities gain in the first instance due to a large population of Chinese students that have already been proven to be sparks for infections in the UK and elsewhere. Avoid using public toilets and of course avoid hospitals. That as was the case in Wuhan are likely to be hotspots for the transmission of viral particles. As again as happened in the UK recently 
when an infected Chinese national turned up to a &E, then potentially went on to infect members of staff and patients. So avoid hospitals, avoid taking taxis and other public transport, and of course avoid airports and airplanes. Avoid, basically avoid enclosed spaces. At the moment, schools in the UK are fine. But come early March, then they could soon become transmission points for the virus. That schools and colleges that will soon follow universities and being hotspots for transmission. So it's highly likely as the outbreaks start to happen in the UK from early March, then schools in those areas will start to be closed, where by the end of March it is likely that most UK schools will be closed. And uh, of course that would be good timing because it will be the Easter holiday. So that the timing will be in line with Easter holidays which may be then extended for the whole of April. So the holidays might begin a week earlier and end a week later. So factor that into your timing of what to expect during March and April. And at some point we will all we are going to have to stop going to work as soon as the virus starts to spread amongst the workforce so prepare now in advance for the exposure to viral particles by avoiding physical contact with other people so no more handshakes hugs or kisses and practicing good hand hygiene definitely avoid people who look ill i.e they're coughing and sneezing Fourthly, when going home, disinfect your jacket and shoes so that you don't introduce viral particles into your home. Don't forget to periodically wipe your smartphones and then wash your hands afterwards. Wipe down surfaces and all handles with disinfectant, such as car door handles, house doors, wherever hands may have been in contact with. Fifthly, boost your immune system. At this time of year, lack of sun means that most people are going to be deficient in vitamin D. So taking a vitamin D supplement will help boost your immune system. Better still will be a good multivitamin, not the cheap ones, but a good one. That say has at least 10 IU of vitamin D and 50 milligrams of vitamin C amongst others. Beyond that, eat plenty of fresh fruit and vegetables for vitamins and minerals in their natural form. Especially citrus fruits for vitamin C, nuts for vitamin E and good fatty acids. As they and vitamin B6 rich foods such as chicken, salmon and tuna, from which vitamins will be better absorbed than from supplements. Exercise regularly to keep your cardiovascular system healthy. Whilst it may be a bit late to lose some excess weight, still you should try and shed some pounds. If nothing else, you'll be in better shape for summer. And if you smoke, well, now really is the time to quit. Data out of China suggests smokers are at the highest risk of becoming seriously ill with coronavirus. So we have perhaps a dozen days to practice and prepare ourselves for the coming coronavirus storm. Practice and share this information with your family and friends and hopefully we'll make it through to the other side of this pandemic as it is expected to start to peter out as soon as temperatures rise so hopefully we'll have passed its peak early May. Stay safe and keep well. Get virus. 59p, that's cheap. And two Get more. How many? How many 59 This will stop the virus. I Vitamin C. The big ones there. Yeah. Let's get the big one up there. Come on, Liza. What else? Tangerines, no. Is that a lot more? Yeah. One, yeah, yeah, I'm not only 59p. That is cheap though. 
I can catch Less than 20. half price. I can catch 20. What else should we get? Stop the virus. Lemons. Oh look, that one's got that one's infected with something. Get what should we get? More oranges! Even more oranges. Go on then. Put it in. That's it. Put it in. Put it in the trolley then. Plenty of oranges. I don't think we're going to be able to eat all that. Potassium in bananas. One left. Nuts are good to stop to get a virus. Yeah, Here's nuts. Five nuts. Wow. Lots of nutrition in nuts, fatty acids. Wee. Two for one fifty, that's cheap. Um there's not much in them. What's in it? Something How many? 55 grams, that's nothing. Put them back. 55 grams, that's 150 for 110 grams. It's not cheap. Even though they're half price, they're not cheap. But they'll, at least they'll help stop getting the coronavirus. Which nuts do you want? Liza? Which nuts do you want? To stop getting the virus. Stop. Yeah. Ooh, oh, mixed nuts. These might be cheap, there's a lot of volume in them. Sweets? Yeah. I don't think they'll help you. Yeah. Pick and mix, anti coronavirus pick and mix. Oh, I'll leave them, get some sweets from here. It's cheaper. Let me buy some of the cash for to wash your hands. Yes, if you're going to use <laughs> cash machine, then remember to wash your hands afterwards. So you don't get infected off the Sorry. keypad. I know you can't do that. Cash, right, quiet. <laughs> Cash withdrawal. And now, with the 200. Oh, I'm infected. Ah. Yeah. This is correct. Like a seat. I'm going to have the virus on my hand. I'm going to have to wash my hand. Don't touch your mouth. Don't touch people's faces or mouths or nose. Otherwise, you'll get infected. So, where's my money then? Oh, yeah, the money's going to be infected as well. You're going to have to wash your money. So, all this money's going to have virus on it. Yeah. Now, you're infected. You're all infected now. The money's got coronavirus on it. No, I'm not touching that money. No, I'm not touching that money. It's got coronavirus all over it. What are you doing? You're infected. You have to wash the money first. You have to wash it before you can use it, you stupid. You have to wash it! Good hand hygiene to prevent getting the coronavirus. Remember to wash the money before you use it. And wash your hand and don't touch your face. Yes, yes, yes. She's, she's crazy again.